beside the subscribe button is a notification bell. And if you know, hit um, all, then every time I upload a new video, you will be notified. So today, this is still a first time tasting uh, for most everything that I've done. Uh, we have had a firehouse subs here for quite some time and we just, we've never gone. It's like, I guess in a different area um, that we just get lazy and don't travel to. It is how it is here in little North Carolina, um, but we have never gone there. So I said, what better video to do than to put firehouse subs in the midst of a session because we were hungry. The first thing my husband was like, yeah, I feel like subs tonight and I knew I was supposed to do it. So, first thing I'm gonna try, this is potato soup. It's, it's gorgeous. Thank goodness it, um, the weather has lightened up some and it's, it's nice outside. Oh, I would not be eating any soup or even trying any soup. It's good. Oh my goodness. This would be the absolute best if and when like it rains and it's super cold. Oh my goodness, this would be amazing. And I've got to give a shout out to Jalen. He uh, waited on me. He was absolutely fantabulous. Um, once again, my first process and he walked me right on through it in addition to telling me some good new spots to try in Goldsboro. So as far as what we have, I really have different stuff. I got a veggie sub, I got a chicken and bacon sub, a brisket sub, a grilled chicken sub, and a Philly sub, along with some hot and flaming pickles. I did um, the pickles from uh, Tosh Point Fro. I did mine just a, this much different. Um, than her recipe and I will put that uh, recipe down in the description. So first I want to try one of these subs and I've got some ranch on deck as well as two sauces from Firehouse. This is the bacon, the excuse me, the grilled chicken and bacon. That's good. Honestly, it doesn't need anything. Like, nothing. Maybe some hot sauce. That's it. Thumbs up, grilled chicken. I added bacon. This is the Philly and provolone. And I think I accidentally, no, goodness, thank goodness. I saw mushrooms on one of my sandwiches and I was like, oh man. I forgot to tell him no mushroom. Mm. That is not dry. It is excellent. I should have added jalapenos. It would have really, really, really given it a nice kick. This is some ginger peach. No, I'm gonna put that on chicken. That's a ginger peach hot sauce. And I said I was gonna try it. This might be good to make it like real warm. Mm. That's good. Here are some of those pickles. I actually got the crunch like I wanted to this time. In addition, I did some spears as well as the sandwich on the flats. This is a spear. But there's something addictive about these pickles, seriously. Mm. It is so good. And this is actually, I told y'all a story. This is um, Creamy Caesar. 
It's not ranked. That is yummy, yummy to my tummy. Now this is brisket, brisket and cheddar. I cut the, um, I got six inch sandwiches and then I just cut them in half. Hubby can get what he wants, but I think I shorted myself because I got the back end. Um, mm, well, the brisket tastes like they cooked it behind them firehouse restaurant. It's smoky. Um, I wish you could see it. You got mayo. It's really good. But for some reason, I feel like I'm going to have to drink a whole lot of water. It's not salty at all. But I can taste the sodium. If that makes any sense. And I can see where it might be a lot of sodium. Hmm. That's the only thing about eating out, especially getting these types of sandwiches. The sodium levels are so high. So this is nothing that I would ever consider making a habit and eating subs all the time. I can't tell you the last time we've had a sub. But if you had to get something, run, on the go, subs are it. Um, this is Caribbean, no, jerk um, turkey sandwich. A jerk turkey sandwich. And it's a lot of onions. And three inch piece. Now, I sort of thought that the turkey would be, and it's probably my fault, like slices of turkey, but this looks like just a regular old um, turkey sandwich meat, and it has a sweet uh, Jamaican boy jerk sauce on it. With everything else. It's good. I might leave off some of the condiments because um, it's gotten soggy a little bit. But the flavors are good. I would love for the uh, jerk sauce to have a little bit more kick to it. But since I'm trying it for the first time, I said I'm going to pretty much try to eat everything as is. So I can see. So far, what I've gotten has been really good. However, it's a possibility that I still like Jersey Mike's a little bit more. And I'm gonna have to eat at um, Jimmy John's for a uh, memory refresher to see where it stacks in. But it's good. I was just sitting here thinking if I had to have a quick event catered, excuse me, catered um, for like a seminar or a workshop, I could definitely put them on the list as to uh, I would definitely order from them if I need to get a quick meal for somebody or a group. I love these pickles. I really do. The only thing left to taste is the veggie sub and I'm really mad because I didn't pay attention and I didn't tell them to leave the mushrooms off. I not like mushrooms. But this is a, a, a regular veggie sub, onions. Okay, so what I really like about this is the fact that the onions and green peppers, you could get them grilled. And I love grilled bell peppers and onions. Um, 
It's just got lettuce and types of cheese, and I guess the mushroom. I left off the tomato. But you could pretty much add or subtract whatever you want. It needs some more vegetables in it, like cucumber. You give it that crunchiness. Um, definitely jalapeno. Um, I don't know. It's just missing. It's missing strength. It's like, I could tell that's a, a veggie sub. Most of the veggie subs that I've had in the past are made so uh, firm that you don't miss the meat. They just have the, the vegetables that they put in it. They just uh, marry together and you honestly don't miss the meat. This, I would bite it and say, mm, there's no meat in this. Feel me? It ain't bad. But um, if I have to eat the other, the other half tomorrow, it will have uh, some cucumbers, definitely. I'll probably add in some red onion and some, I love olives, olives and jalapeno. Yeah, that's what I would do. This is my officially, or my official first mukbang. I'm excited. Old people trying to get in the game. But this was good. My hubby come in, he's gonna be happy. You know which one he's gonna pick from. But y'all make the flaming hot Cheeto pickles. They are super easy. Super easy. You can look for um Tosh Point Fro. She actually did a video to show how to make these. In addition, I will have the recipe that I used in the description box. If you hit the arrow that points down, it will expand on your menu under the video and you will be able to see um, the actual recipe that I used. I'm hooked to this. Honestly, I could have taken this bowl of pickles and this dressing I mean, good. Y'all need to try those pickles. And also, the, the last batch that I did, the spear that I was telling you about, they're actually jalapeno pickles, kosher dill pickles. So it even has a more kick to it, if you like kick. Well, this does it for Sassy tonight. She totally gives Firehouse a thumbs up that is in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Once again, shout out to Jalen. You were awesome. Appreciate you. Until next time, y'all have a great evening. I didn't do my thumbnail. I got to do my thumbnail. Okay, sorry. I forgot to do my thumbnail. Good night.